Hello, my friends. The bitch is back from the dead. Just kidding. There ain't no dead. A girl consistently posts. Hello. Today, I'm gonna show y'all a little makeup tutorial. Hello? I can hear you, bitch. I can hear you going. <laughs> If you ain't slick. I went shopping while I was in, in New York. Then I'm gonna do a little haul, a little makeup tutorial because y'all have been up my ass. I mean, like, drop the makeup tutorial! Like, I get it. Just because I'm a fucking transformer doesn't mean y'all have to harass me. So I bought this new cleanser. This is the Solo I don't know how to pronounce it. But I'm gonna quickly cleanse my face with this before we start my makeup because it's really oily. And I've been picking up my blackheads, so there's probably like a bunch of residue and stuff. But this skincare routine that I'm doing with these new products, which I'll show you later, been working. Now, typically I'm that bitch that changes her makeup every month or so and like transforms into a whole nother person. That happened, but I'm still using the same exact products that I've been using, just like changing the technique a little bit. So I'm gonna show you all that. Starting off with the base, you need to be moisturized. Because if you have dry skin, I have oily skin, but I still moisturize the hell out of my face because if I don't, then my makeup looks disgusting. I'm gonna go with the Dr. Jart Sarah Medin Cream. This is a moisture retention shield. This is thick. Bro, thicker than my ass at the gym. Eh, just kidding, not kidding. I used to only use this at night because I was like, oh, like it's too thick, like my skin is gonna be so oily. But if anything, now that I use this night and day, my skin isn't as oily because it's giving it the moisture that it needs, you know what I mean? Like, it works. This is such a good creme and it's just, Sucks it all in, leaves it all in, so my skin doesn't look like an oil spill, you know? All right, after that, I'm gonna try to not make this makeup tutorial 10 years long because I have a tendency to film makeup tutorials and over explain when no one gives a flying fuck. So then I go in with the... Before I show you the next product though, I just want to mention the giveaway winners from the last video. I'm doing a giveaway in every single video if you don't know, so all you have to do is just be subscribed and then follow my Instagram. It's really easy and then I just like let you know how to win every single giveaway in every video. I also post every single day basically. The winner of the Star Wars like makeup kit is this winner on screen right here. I DM'd you already. And then the winner of this Revlon kit right here with all this makeup in it is this person right here. And then the winner of this Revlon kit with a bunch of makeup in it is this person here. The winner of this Pharmacy Green Clean Cleansing Balm, my favorite cleansing mom ever this is like sephora type makeup you know what i mean is this winner right here but since y'all loved it so much i'm gonna be giving away three more of these pharmacy green clean cleansing bombs so i'm gonna pick like three winners for these also i'm gonna be giving away a charlotte tilbury makeup kit right here and i'm gonna be giving away this ColourPop christmas kind of set right here so i'm gonna be picking five giveaway winners in the next video and all you have to do is again be subscribed and then just comment down anything down below and then your instagram with that i'll be choosing winners in the next video okay hourglass mineral veil primer i do not think that primer is necessary i do my makeup without primer without foundation all the time and it like looks fine oh i made a mistake you're not supposed to put primer on your nose don't put the primer on your nose especially if you have fat ass pores like me and like leak oil out of your nose don't put it on your nose because what's gonna happen is the makeup's gonna literally fall off your nose then after that, I would use the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer, but look, empty. I used it all. This is an empty of mine. It was really good while it lasted. And then usually I would go in with the setting spray by Charlotte Tilbury. Oh my God, it's holding on its last thread, but it's all gone. But I'm just gonna go in with the NYX Pore Filler just to fill in my in moon craters just to like blur them on my cheeks i do not suggest you do this on your nose do not put anything on your nose if you are an oil spill do not put anything on your nose and i'm gonna say that a million times boom next up the morphe 2 hint hint skin tint this is the best ever but it's empty so this is in hints of almonds by the way oh i've been using I've been using this for the past four months now. Sometimes I would switch to a new foundation, but I always just found my way back to this one. I swear, this foundation is my twin flame. No matter how many breakups we have, we always just find ourselves back together. This one's crusty dusty. Out with the old, with the new. Goodbye, skies are gray. The Something Hello, is sky. blue. Dip in the pool. Anyways, before we do that though, black, Beauty Blender. Big Buddy Bands, remember I used to be dust. I've tried the blue one, I've tried this one, I've tried the pink one, I've tried every single Beauty Blender. They work. Not as good as this one though, and I will never break up with this one. You gotta shake this Hint Hint Skin Tint Hello though because it's like oily, there's separation, but like this doesn't make my skin oily, even though it's like, made up of like oil i think it's so buildable and it just like looks like skin if that makes any sense like do you see this oh my god the way it just looks it just is glowing and it doesn't look cakey how could i ever cheat on this huh? 
Like, of course I'll try new foundations and like do new foundations, but for the everyday look, this is just too perfect. It's like not even like it's super light coverage or anything like that. It covers what it needs to cover you know what i mean so usually i don't even put that much on but today i just feel like doing a little extra honestly a lot of the times lately i haven't even been using foundation in my makeup routine or concealer i've just been doing like blush and freckles and stuff in this picture i literally had no face makeup on it was just freckles blush and my eye makeup so that's what i've been doing lately because it's been so hot that my skin will sometimes like sweat the makeup off so i'll do that to even out my skin tone i don't want to put too much on though just because i don't like to cake it i use concealer to cover up the rest another empty I've gone through like probably a hundred of these in my lifetime. Realistically, maybe like 20. But this is the shade 22. It's like on its last shot right now, so we're gonna use the rest of it. I put it right here, here, right here, here. On my acne scars. And then a little bit on the forehead. Duh. Just like that, but I kind of wanted to finish setting my face. So I'm just gonna use the Rare Beauty one, just to spray my Beauty Blender to re-wet it. You kind of want it to be low-key damp. Not like dripping though, because if it's dripping, then your makeup's gonna separate. This foundation and concealer combo. Oh my God, what the f is this McDonald's? <laughs> Concealer and Morphe combo. But like this shit goes unreal. Like, do you see how nicely that just blends into the skin? So I blend this in. I used to be a rubbing type bitch when it came to the beauty blender, but then I just learned the importance of just tapping it in, you know? Blend this in. She's looking gorgeous. Blended. Nice. Dewy. Spray that once more and just tap, tap, tap. Just to make sure like all the creases are gone. I'll stick my finger in my nose, pick it a little bit and blend the creases of the nose. Just cause you know, I have a nose job. So like the nose isn't natural to me. So like there's like, you can kind of tell that my nose is like disattached from my face. So you really gotta move it around. I have this in the shade 11, but I don't know where that is. We're gonna take this MAC concealer and it's the 24 hour smooth wear. This is a really light shade. Basically you just want a really light shade and put this on your cheekbones like that. And then a little bit on the nose, just like a little bit you see how it's like barely even on there spray spray and then you want to blend this bit like that not my neck vein popping out bring it down into the under eye right you see that difference in shades right there leave it then the nose i flip the beauty blender around and then take the shape of my nose and just tap 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 so do you see how it like it has that low key highlight right there? Then after we must powder the face because it's about to crease. But I like how this concealer, you have time, you have room, it's hydrating. Put a beauty pound cake. I've talked about this a million batrillion times on my Instagram, on my TikTok, everywhere. I wore this to Rolling Loud and I literally brought it in my purse at Rolling Loud. Like I had this strapped on me at all times and my makeup looked flawless. I stood in the pit of a concert for six hours and my makeup stayed flawless. Bitches were telling me, I say bitches, but it's just bitch. Bitch told me I look like Kylie Jenner. The security guards were giving me free water. Everybody in that pit was pissed because the security guards kept bringing me free water because my makeup looked popping. Like, not gonna lie. And it's all thanks to this powder. Like, all thanks to this powder because I was sweating and this powder saved my ass. Not everywhere, only where I like grease a lot. So just right in the smile lines and under my eyes for now because just wait, you'll see. I then go in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Espresso. I bought this at the CVS for like two bucks and it's amazing. I like just kind of squirt it out and then put it on a brush like this. I used to use the Charlotte Tilbury one, but that sh is expensive. So basically I just kind of, it's not very long. Like it's very short. I don't drag it out to my cheek or anything. Keep it very short, put a little bit right here. And then we gotta fake the jawline because a bitch don't have one. Take a separate beauty blender if you can. If you can't, that's fine. But if you can, get a separate sponge because I used to do cream contour all the time and I'd be like, ew, this looks muddy. Like my face looks disgusting. But it's because I just be dragging the same beauty blender everywhere. So if I'm using concealer and if I'm using contour, it just like all blends together and it's not precise, right? So if you take a separate one, I just have my old crusty one and my new one. My old crusty one always turns into the contour one. Then it'll just like look very clean because you're really concentrating the product on one area. And then take the shape of the beauty blender and really shape it into the contour. You see how I'm like using the pointy side, just going like this and tapping it. Just tap it. Don't drag it. Don't move it around. Just tap exactly where it should be going. That's how you make it not muddy. Like that. Do you see? That contour stayed in one spot. Then taking the same part where the contour that I use for here, taking it here and just tapping this in. Boom, gorgeous. Then here, um, to be honest, I don't really tap the jaw because the jaw don't really matter. I kind of just drag it along my neck. 
give it a nice little spray. And then I take the back of the booty blender where I haven't been using the concentrated stuff, right? So it's like, it should be pretty empty, should be pretty clean. Then I go in and I tap it just to blend in the edges, you know? So it doesn't look so harsh. Now look at that. Do you see how diffused that looks into my face? It looks natural, okay? Look at this. You see how it's just like, no contour, contour. It just, that's the only way I could describe it. Create that like low key triangle shape, but don't bring it in too much. Put it right here. I'm gonna wait to do my jaw just because it's gonna dry out. Oh my God, that just blends so well. I'm obsessed, bro. Boom, looks so natural. Then I go in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal. I take the tip of it and I draw a really faint, well, as faint as I possibly can. Sometimes I really mess up my nose contour. Like it's really a hit or miss. I draw a faint line like that. Keep in mind, you gotta really blend it into the eyebrows. And another tip is to make it go like wider to smaller, but I'm just not good at that. So then I draw a line here, a line. I literally fill in this hook. Get another spritz spritz. Now I take the shape of the beauty blender like this. You see how it goes like that? You see how my nose goes like, you take it and you just tap. Just tap for however long it takes. Just do not move your beauty blender except for going up and down the tap. And I know you may be like, oh, that's so time consuming. Yeah, but it pays off. Because look, it looks snatched. Kind of go in and blend the line a little more. But do you see that? That's so nicely diffused. Then I take another clean side where like there hasn't been. Boom, 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 boom. Oh my God, do you see how gorgeous? Like, look at that. I'll just again, take a clean side. Well, actually, usually it's just the tip and then I'll just kind of blend that in. Now I know I look crazy and I know that this doesn't look blended, but just give me a second. Then I take my clean beauty blender for the concealer, like the white one, not the white one. Well, this is for the contour, this is the concealer. And then I take this and I just tap. This is really clean, right? So like it can't mess up the contour because it doesn't have any contour on this. And then I just tap the front and then boom, it is so diffused, snatched. I go in with a banana powder. This is the Makeup Revolution banana powder. I have it in a Ziploc bag because I lost the cap, but I didn't want to throw it away and I still wanted to be able to travel with it. I take a mini Real Techniques sponge and I kind of highlight the areas that I put the contour. And I'm really, <sighs> Ooh, this makes me nervous. And then I just like low key blend it up with my finger just because this banana powder is so like concentrated that if you don't blend it, it'll just look really harsh. Cute. And then I will just like low key tap it into the sides of my nose just to really highlight it. And then diffuse it out like that. Now going in with this flat brush, this is my holy grail. I've been using this for like years now, like actually years, don't know where I got it from, but then I take this and the Avani Greg palette in the shade Hawaii. This is the vacation bronzer. It's like my favorite shade. <sighs> Getting the right shade of bronzer is, I don't know how to help you with that, but it's key. This one works for me. I know this comes in three different shades, but I don't want it to be too harsh. That shit scares me sometimes. And then I kind of draw it into my brow bone. That's how I start like that. I know this looks harsh, but just give me a sec. Then I always rest my pinky on my eye when I do this side to make sure it's precise. I then draw a line. I don't know why, but I feel like cream just sets like a good base. Okay. You're so funny, Mike. <laughs> I'm so fucking funny. <laughs> so I just use like any sort of brush like this fluffy brush. And then I blend in the banana powder. I also blend in the contour like this, you see, but I only do it for the outside. I do not touch the inside, but it's like when you blend in the banana powder on the outside and you kind of diffuse it into the nose contour, it looks so much smoother. I think this brush is from Morphe. Morphe has like some of my favorite brushes. I also buy brushes from like Amazon. I blend that in. I don't touch here because I touched that last. But do you see how snatched my nose looks? Gorgeous. Then I take a puff, my little puff with like the excess powder that's on it or whatever. Well, sometimes I'll like go like this, take a little bit, tap, and I'll smack my face. Now I know I'm supposed to be a dewy queen, but the oils are gonna set in and I'm about to be a dewy queen once I start sweating. So like, I don't really care about powdering my whole entire face. I go in with like a brush that looks like this. Doesn't matter, like if you don't have like a brush that's perfect for contour, just take any fluffy brush and just pinch it. And I take the Avani Greg Krusty Dusty Cracks palette, kind of just tap it. Have it like this, shape it. I go over where I contoured, but again, do not drag it inwards. That's not the look. That's how you get a muddy face. Just put it where I put the cream contour, just like that. I know it looks really harsh right now, but that's why you just gotta trust the process, okay? Then I go in with a big fluffy brush like this. 
with no product on it and I just blend my entire face. Literally nothing is on this brush. It's just for blending. You see how clean this brush is? Boom! It doesn't even look like I'm wearing makeup. No, it does. I'm lying. To be honest, I've been hating my brows lately. Why? Just because they're microbladed and tattooed. So like they're not really the shape that I want. Like the ends are really long and it makes me look aggressive as hell. But we're just trying to work with it, okay? Basically, I'm just gonna brush them through. And then I'm gonna take the NYX brow glue. Brush them like this. I know this is really aggressive and it doesn't look cute. Then after you do that and there's a bunch of gel in them, brush them up the way that you want. Because if you don't do this, then the brows just don't stay properly. You know what I mean? Your brow actually has to be saturated with the brow product. And I brush them up over like that. You see? Okay, so after I brush them, I let them like, I guess, dry for a second because there's like a bunch of gel in them. So I let them sit and while I'm doing that, I'm gonna curl my lashes. Okay. So I just curl my lashes. See, I'm already sweating. I take the Cover FX in the shade Mojab Mauve. This is like a blush. It's my favorite shade ever. Like if this ever gets discontinued, I'm gonna cry. It may not be for everybody, but it is for me. So I take this like shimmery color and I use it as eyeshadow just because I feel like it's so cohesive, not using like another eyeshadow color. Just like using a blush, it looks very natural, I guess. And I kind of just put that over my lid. I go in with the Maybelline Sky High Lash Sensational. This is my favorite mascara. I ran out of it and I just bought a new one. This is my first time trying the new one. And I use the waterproof one because nothing else works for me. Like mascara has to be waterproof for it to work with for me. <gasps> I did not just do that. It's okay, I have a hack to get mascara off. I go in with the L'Oreal Telescopic and just put these on the ends. I feel like this just extends the lashes like crazy. You see what I mean? I used to be like, oh, I have no lashes, like no mascara works for me. And then I bought a lash serum and used the right mascaras and oh, my life has been changed. Cause look at that. Anyways, so there's mascara all over my face actually. I go in with like a clean spoolie and then I rub the mascara off. Well, try to, it usually works. Done. Now I go in with eye Eyeliner. So my favorite was the Morphe Tea Spill. This is a brown eyeliner, but I guess they don't have it here. I bought it in the UK. Maybe they have it at Morphe stores, but I couldn't find it at Ulta. For this, I don't know how to explain what I just did, but I just followed like the natural line of my eye. I didn't try to do anything like crazy. Like I just followed the natural line of my eye, I guess. So it extends it to make it look longer instead of trying to like change the shape of my eye. You see what I mean? It's just a straight line and then it low key curves, but it's pretty thin. Just do it to accentuate your eye. But do you see how it's like, if this curve like came out, this is how the line should be. I used to do my eyeliner like cat eye going up and stuff, but then I learned to just compliment my own eye shape and it looks so much better. That's what I do now. I will take this powder, a tiny little brush, the banana powder, the white powder, whatever, and I will just smile and place the powder where my natural crease is just to like accentuate it, I guess. I know there's a particular name for this, Aigo Sal or whatever, but I can't pronounce it. I was gonna say I don't even wanna try, but I did try. Don't yell at me, okay? So yeah, I'll do that and leave that for a bit. Now going back to the eyebrows, I take the Derma Blend and then a little concealer brush, put it on the ends of my brows to conceal them. I'll go back in with more contour later because I know we contoured this spot, but I forgot that I needed to conceal the ends of my brows. If you don't have tattooed brows, this is not necessary. Okay, I try to conceal as best as I possibly can. Just threw some powder on there just to let it set. But I'm going in with the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim in the shade Soft Brown. And then I honestly don't like to fill in my brows that much just because they're already kind of dark. I just kind of fill in the curve right there just to make them a little more straight. I just feel like arch brows make me look so aggressive for what reason? That's how I do my brows. That's literally it. Going back to the eyes, I'm using the Ardell 110s. These are just like really natural looking lashes. I don't use big lashes anymore. And honestly, I maybe wear lashes like once a week, not even, just because I just think the mascara looks good enough. I've just been using the Grande Lash Serum and it works really good. So I just feel like I don't need lashes, but if we do want to use lashes is what I use. And then I will curl them before I put them on just because I like them to stay up. Just because like I feel like with sweat and mass and stuff like that, the heat makes them curl downwards throughout the day. So so giving them a little extra curl looks good. But yeah, I just curl them like that. I don't know about you guys, but my eyes are like shaped really weird. So my eyelashes in the middle go down. So I don't like to put a full lash over there because it just falls off and stuff like that. And it just doesn't look good. Like it doesn't fit my natural eye shape. Like I feel like my lashes shouldn't be as long as they are on the outside, on the inside sticking up. Just does not complement my eye shape. So I like to cut them quite a bit. 
three sections off, something like that, just to fit my eye a little bit better. My favorite lash glue is the House of Lashes in black. This has been my favorite lash glue for so long. I've literally gone swimming in the ocean with these and my lashes stay on. I can wear my lashes for like three days straight. Don't ask me how I know. I mean, you guys realize like how I know, you know, that like they stay on for three days wait straight. I've worn my lashes for three days straight, but I don't want any comments saying how disgusting that I was because, okay, I'm gonna let these dry. I feel like everyone probably thinks that like I'm a catfish online or whatever, but it's literally just because my makeup. Daniela always tells me, oh my God, Maya, you look like face twin in real life when you do your makeup. I don't know, maybe she's lying, but I'm really a transformer out here. I take a mirror, put it under my eye, and I try to get as close to my lash line as possible. Okay, I know I look crazy, but just wait. I'm gonna let it tack up and dry. And honestly, I press on the inner corner with my tweezers or my finger just because the inner corner always likes to lift up. And this way, my lashes stay on all day. Is really focusing on the inner corner. Okay. Then I'll take my finger and literally press down on my lashes just because I feel like they look so unnatural when they're sticking up like that. All right, I put my lashes on. This is what they look like. Supernatural, you know what I mean? Like, supernatural. Is that a movie then i'm gonna wipe the powder from my eyes a little bit and then take the contour brush i don't tap it into any new bronzer but do you see when i swim my eyes there's that natural line so i like to accentuate it lightly boom okay i'm gonna go in with the same blush that i used on my eyes and then just this blush brush from ColourPop. this is the f30 and i just take it now I'm about to go crazy, okay? I put it right here, and basically, I know I look insane for putting the amount of blush that I put on, but... So then I go in with my blending brush before I touch my nose and just blend powders left. Honestly, there's not much. It just kind of diffuses everything a little bit better, like the contour. But you see how, like, this is the shape of my nose now? That's the power of the bake, bro. Then I put a little bit right here on the top just to blend it in. Then I'm gonna go in with Freck. Um, this is basically like a freckle maker. I bought this at Sephora. This is the best thing ever. Everyone's been asking me how I do my freckles. It's this. Um, this is just in the original color, but you just kind of tap this on your face. Let that sink in just for a sec. Then take your finger and then tap it around. And then you see how that looks? Oh my God, so cute. And then I repeat the process about three times on each side. Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk. Mm -mm. I overline my lips. Basically, I make the tops bigger, but I never make the sides bigger because I feel like that's how you know it's unnatural is when the sides look too big. All right, then going with my favorite gloss. This is the Morphe 2 Glassified Lip Oil. I literally have empties of this. This is my favorite gloss ever, and it's so inexpensive. Bro, like, just look at that. How could you not just be obsessed? And I'm gonna go in with the concealer brush and just clean up the sides a little bit, just like that. Okay, now taking the Olens Day One Scandi Eye. Um, this is in the shade gray. These are also prescription, which is super nice, but not gonna lie, if I wear prescription too often, my eyes go blind, but we're just gonna do it for the video. Like wearing contacts and glasses makes your eyes way worse. And I know I'm not tripping because I didn't wear glasses or contacts for like two months, three months, and then I started wearing them again and I definitely can't see now. I used to not be able to put contacts in for years. And then one day I just forced myself to. I like sat there for like an hour and forced myself to. East and the west, I'm racking up on my breath. Uh, power on me, I'm feeling just like a Tesla. Too much tree, the smoke is making my chest hurt. Girl on me, I'm thinking I should arrest her. Hey, I'm thinking I should arrest. All night long, she putting me to the test. Got a lot on, I'm trying to take out the rest. Couldn't know my lines, I'm sending them but the best.